only on Christ 17 TV. <coughs> Clear my throat real quick. How about the Miami Heat, huh? Jimmy freaking Butler. Celtics are in deep, deep shit right now. Tatum, back-to-back -back games at home with no points in the fourth quarter. Check this out. You ain't going to win no games if he ain't scoring in the fourth quarter. You're going to get swept out the series. I'm going to tell you this. Right now, if the Heat go back and win game three, they're going to sweep the series. That's just how I see it. That's just how I see it. Miami Heat wants it more than Boston wants it. You can see it all over the court. Yeah, they go on them runs. Boston gets up by about 9, 10 points. But then they put the clamps on them. They go on the run. Now it's a two-point game or a tie game. End up getting the lead at halftime. <coughs> and never... Never looked back. Just kept it close. Celtics came out. They went on a run for the second half. Yeah, they were supposed to because they're at home. But there's no quit in these Miami Heat, man. I'm telling you, this team is serious. They knocked out the Bucks. They knocked out the Knicks. And they're going to knock out the Celtics to go to the finals. And I think they're going to play Denver Nuggets. Right now... Tatum ain't playing like Tatum should be playing like he's top five player in the league. That's definitely, you could do all you want, but if you don't show up during crunch time, clutch time, it doesn't mean shit. You don't even win a game at home for the first two games. And the craziest thing is they had, they had to, Celtics, nine-point favorites in both games. Nine points. After the first game, I think it was eight-and-a-half points, they put it to nine-and-a-half. Did anybody who's putting out these bets watch the same game that I watched in game one? Jimmy Butler is not... He's the best player on the floor in this series. Jalen Brown, Tatum, yeah, you got these guys, but... Jimmy's not to be fucked with, and Bam is playing his ass off. And they're hitting the clutch threes with Lowry, Vincent, Strauss. This team could shoot the ball, too. So, not only they play defense, they play team basketball. It's, it's just they are clutch. They're hitting the clutch shots right now. And Boston Celtics... You're in big trouble. You got to sweep both games in Miami to have a chance at the series. I don't see it. I, I see you might get one game in Miami if you're lucky, but I don't see this game. This going five, no more than five. They're going to win two out the next three games. Two out the next three. Now... To the other one, the Western Conference Finals. All they talking about is what the Lakers need to do and this and that. Not giving Denver no kind of love. See what Jamal Murray did in the fourth quarter? That's what Jason Tatum's supposed to do in the fourth quarter. Light the shit up. If Jamal playing like that, Joker's playing at the level he's playing, and you got Brown, Porter, Gordon, all these guys chipping in, Caldwell Pope, this might not go five, six games. If they take one game in L.A., it's over in game five. Done deal. They're not losing at home. They're not. And Anthony Davis, you can score 40 points all you want. 
when the joke is getting triple doubles every game, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, baby. It's a wrap. It is a wrap. Like I said, everybody wants to see Lakers and Boston. There's more money in Lakers and Boston. There's more history in Lakers and Boston. Nobody wants to see Jimmy Butler versus the Joker. I do. I do. Who doesn't want to see a fucking scrappy team like the Miami Heat play a fucking team like the Nuggets who know how to pass the ball and boy do they pass the ball. Joker by himself over 10 assists each game. Over 15 rebounds each game. Over 27 points each game. L.A., y'all better get game three or you can kiss this shit goodbye. That's a fact, buddy. Street clothes. Davis, yeah, he could score 40. LeBron could drop his 27, but when the rest of the team is not Hitting big shots, guess what? You're not going to win games in the playoffs unless you clutch in crunch time. And that's a fact. That's just how it is. So you can talk all the shit about Lakers need to do this. Lakers need to do that. The Lakers need to stop the Denver Nuggets from doing what they do best. And that's move the ball around and get a great shot for any other shooters. Michael Porter, it doesn't matter. Them boys are hitting threes and knocking shit down. Pope been hitting clutch threes. And right now, it looks like it's going to be the Nuggets versus the Heat in the finals. Something nobody wanted except me. That scrappy team, guess what? In both games, I've took, I've took the Heat with the points and won my bet. Took the Heat with the eight and a half and took the Heat with the nine and and a half, because I know they're not going to blow out the heat, ain't nobody's blown out the heat the whole damn freaking playoffs, I think the Knicks did one game, that one game when they won by maybe 13 or 15, some shit like that, but it took a crazy run in the second half to even get that game like that, because it was a close game the whole game. So, what do you think? about this draft pick guy, Victor Wimbayama, or however you say the kid's name, seven foot big center point guard, handles, could shoot the three. I think he went to the perfect team. As long as Pop stays around, this kid is going to be okay. I got a friend of mine, you know who you are, bro. He say this kid's going to be a bust because he's too skinny. I say bullshit. Skinny's the new thing in the league. You don't bang like that all the time no more. Everybody's shooting three, so this is a perfect, perfect league for this kid to be in until he puts some size on. Perfect. It's like Chet Holmgren. He got hurt. He got hurt. Stepping on LeBron's foot. Yes, he did, but I think that kid is going to be something special too, and he's skin and bones. But that's why they got training and they got trainers. They got stuff to do. Get your ass in the weight room and he's going to put on some weight. Do I think he's going to be a Hall of Famer? Time will tell. Do I think he's going to be a bust? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The kid's got special talent. Check got special talent. I've seen him play a lot for Gonzaga. I haven't really... Seen the Victor kid play. I've just seen seen highlights. But, like, like my bro said, everybody that tall always has problems with their feet. So, as long as he don't get hurt, I think the kid is not going to be no bust. I think he's going to be something serious in this league with that size and that skill and that talent. So, I mean, let's see. But the Kings have draft rights to this kid in the Europe League who just won the league MVP. His name is Sasha 
Venikov. And he's supposed to be a shooter, lights out, great great defender, and just hungry ball player. Dives, does all the little things that makes him great. So if my Canes can bring over this Sasha Venikov kid to go with our team already, it's nowhere to go but up. So let's go Sacktown. Hope you hear me. And let's go <coughs> sign this kid, Sasha. And see what Sasha can do with Herder and Fox and Monk and Sabonis and Lyles if we re-sign them. And see what happens. Because we got a young team and we look it up and I think it's nowhere but to go up. Up, up, up and away. You know what I'm saying? My Sacramento Kings will be back next year for the playoffs. We're going to make a few changes See what we get in the draft. See if we can bring Sasha over from Europe and put him with us and sign him. And then it's going to be on and cracking. So this is Christ 17 TV with a little NBA talk, playoff talk, draft talk. A little bit this, a little bit of that. But Joker, you heard it here right now. He's going to the finals and he's going to win the finals MVP. You heard it right here first. Christ 17 TV. Like, subscribe, share my videos, and catch you on the flip side, player. This is Christ17 with a little bit of talk for you on a Friday night, baby boy. You know what I'm saying? Stay blessed, stay up. Catch you on the flip side, player.